Dr. Parrott grew up just outside of Champaign-Urbana in Muhammad and attended the University of Illinois as an undergraduate student. And actually in 1972, he was a member of the National Champion Livestock Judging Team. And after that, uh, he stayed for graduate school and um, coached meats judging teams and then eventually started coaching livestock judging teams as he was working through his, his graduate program. Dr. Parrott joined the faculty in 1981 I came here in January of 1986 as a graduate student, and so that would have been my first encounter with Dr. Parrott. During that time, though, he was also a beef extension educator, encouraging producers to start utilizing EPDs and, and part of genetic selection to improve birth weight and calving ease and to improve marbling. I think ahead of his time understood that we needed to do that together. There was a show that actually was hosted here in the Stock Pavilion called the Angus Spotlight Show. And I remember him reaching out to me when I was a senior in high school and set up a visit to come here. And I felt like I had extra special treatment. I later found out he, he gave that extra special treatment to probably just about any student that was interested in coming to the University of Illinois. I wish I could bottle up his ability to, to make people feel at ease. He was at the level of the people he was interacting with, and I think that's why students really liked him. When I was a senior at Kansas State University, he reached back out to me again. I actually was fortunate enough to find a position here on faculty. Dr. Parrott taught our Introduction to Animal Science course. He was often the first face and first person that our students met. Throughout that time, he taught over 8,000 students. Remember, these are freshmen, they're, they're away from home for the first time. He was very good at engaging the students, regardless of their background, making them feel at ease. And that's not to mention all of the countless people around the state, around the country, around the world that he touched through his expertise and his communication abilities. Whether it was training uh, students to judge shows, judging shows himself. He won over 20 teaching awards, not just at the department campus level, but also nationwide. Now many people are remembering a professor whose love of learning expanded beyond the classroom. He dedicated his life to cattle and his students. Dr. Doug Parrott was a beef production professor at the U of I for nearly five decades. That's right, he was still teaching in the classroom this time last He was in my office that morning. I had passed him in the hallway and said, hey, I've got an issue, do you have some time? An hour or so went by and, and he says, oh, I've got to go. I'm lecturing in beef production today. And I said, okay, thanks, really appreciate it. That's last um, we saw him. It was a surprise. I had taught beef production class with him that day. Right up to the very end, he was taking time from his busy schedule, being retired. <laughs> Uh, to give me advice. You know, it's hard to pinpoint one thing that I learned from him, but I think being a good family person, never looking down upon a person regardless of what they're about and what they're doing, uh, treating people fairly. I remember um, that, that very next day meeting with Susie and John and Annie and and talking about where would the services be. When we were here at this space, they, they thought, this, this is where the visitation should be. This was, his, this was his home. Current colleagues, past colleagues, so many students that he um, had influenced, it was a sight to behold. The college and the university has approved for the arena in here to be named in his memory. And so we're very excited that, uh, you know, his, his legacy will live on. Anybody that knew him knew that he loved the American Angus Association. He loved purebred Angus cattle. He loved the people that were affiliated with the breed. And he won many, many awards, but uh, I'm quite certain that this one would, would be at the top of the pile for ones that he would be the most proud to, to share about. You know, we all get bogged down in life thinking about what's wrong with America. How can people be so stupid? How can they have an opinion that's different than mine? 
And then you just hang around here for a little while and you see what's right with America. All the families, all the young people. And so let's give all these exhibitors in this show a nice round of applause.